inside edition inside edition inside edition inside edition has a way <laughs> has a driving tip look it says it has a driving tip for you to avoid sitting in the gridlock traffic Ooh. i mean what are you gonna do drive over people hit someone's car like of course you're not gonna do that so this is why you leave your house at 5 a.m for long car trips i think everyone knows that that moment when a guy is weaving through traffic and you pull up next to him at the red light thinking was that really <laughs> was that really worth it oh my goodness <clears throat> uh people still don't know how know how to use the zipper technique people would write people would rather you died and let you in their life that's very true man i don't even drive but when i'm when i'm in car with someone like yeah they, yeah no <laughs> people are really aggressive with that but yeah okay let's watch the video I'm taking to the skies to get a bird's eye view of the chaos on our roads. It's rush hour and cars are bumper to bumper. This is a record year for driving. Sam so Schwartz is a renowned traffic hour, engineer. He actually coined the term gridlock. We've got to get Wait, smarter what? and we're not terribly smart right now. We set up a series of demonstrations to show how traffic jams occur and how you can avoid them. Uh, you know what? When I was younger, I've always thought about that. Like, how does this start? What's happening? Like, my first, my, my mindset was always about, like, like, I've never really even had the conversation with anybody. But, yeah, my mindset was always like, how does it start? Like, what's happening in front? And, like, it's funny because my mindset was always like, there's probably an accident. Because I, I grew up in a place where, like, accidents really be happening like and that's a reason for you know that's an actual reason for uh this thing happening it's crazy but yeah that's cr like wow and like the funny thing about the 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 traffic is like when you now get to the front you're not like you just everybody's just driving smoothly and not, it's not even nothing's going on it's weird it's so weird and nothing is going on everyone's just like driving faster like so what i mean is that at the beginning you are in a tight gridlock right like it says tight gridlock everyone everything is like tight and like you can't move anyway then when you now get to the top the front then you're not like driving like basically like normal like uh, going fucking 50 kilometers per hour 60 kilometers per hour and it's like wait what you know, I'm like I'm literally thinking to myself, wait, what just what's happening? There's nothing happening in front. Then why couldn't we all drive faster? Like what's going on? Like I never really knew why. First, an accident blocks the road, and we're oh, forced okay. to first an The result, a chaotic mess as drivers fight with each other over who goes first. Oh, look at that one over here. <laughs> just so quick. Had they all been polite to each other, gentlemanly or right. well, whatever you want. Oh, don't hit the Mercedes with the Mercedes. <laughs> I didn't even notice that this was a Benz. This one over here, but this one. I want to say we would have been moving a lot better. There is a better way to merge. It's called the zippering technique. The, zippering. the right lane goes, then the left lane goes. The right lane goes, then the left lane goes. Yeah, because people really do respect, or even because people really people don't even know what that is. It means they're cooperating, right? And yeah, that's the most sure. efficient way for the traffic to move. Just look at the difference. Next problem. Jesus, it's almost hitting him, bro. Woo, that was close. Almost hit him. Traffic coming to a complete halt, stopping for no obvious reason. Really? So that's why. So, wow, it now makes it makes everyone look so dumb now. Like, holy shit! If we just did the, I guess the technique that he's talking about, then everything will be smooth sailing. Like, what? When you're stuck in traffic, you get to where you think there's going to be an accident and there's nothing there? Uh, this is called a phantom traffic jam. Somebody... I've never heard about that before, but okay. For whatever reason, hits on their brake, they're tailgating, and that just sets a, this chain reaction, car after car. We wanted to show how easy it is for a phantom traffic jam to happen. So... Oh, uh, like the... Oh, yeah, I, I see this happen a lot, too. But when someone does this, right... When like this car over here, when it just stops, right? When someone does that, and I, I'm basically around maybe here, whoever is driving me, I just look at it happening, and I'm just like, why? Why is it stopping? What's going on? Is that maybe, 
maybe uh, gas. Like I'm just thinking of like you know just the basics, gas, or this car just failed or something like. But yeah, I like the fun. The fucking weird part is that they now start moving. Like, oh my god! Then why did you stop in the first place? So we teamed up with Zipcar, a leading worldwide car sharing company. One goal of Zipcar is to reduce traffic. Zipcar arranged. Imagine if that's possible. I don't even know if that's possible. I doubt it's possible. I mean, when there's like two lanes and two lanes for moving forward and like, oh my goodness, an accident happens i don't know how you're gonna stop anything bro i don't know how for a fleet of cars and drivers to simulate how traffic can pop up out of nowhere we told the drivers to maintain yeah those guys in the best would be like Ooh, i would love to be the best for this zip car though, for real in a steady speed and stay at a safe distance from the car in front in this traffic circle but they just can't do it after a while our perfect circle unravels that car right there just hit its brakes, okay? So now look. Next one, just a couple of seconds later, the next one, and the next one, and then that builds up a traffic jam. And there was no reason to touch the brakes at all. You can see traffic's moving fine yeah. on the other side of the circle. There's no what reason the to hell? touch the brakes at all. You can look at the distance, bro. See traffic's it's moving fine on the crazy. other side of the circle. What can we do as drivers to drive smarter? I think drivers can, can do a lot, and for one thing, they could use their brakes as little as possible. Imagine there's an egg on that brake pedal and you don't want to break that egg. Don't tailgate, don't leave in and out. So all that switching doesn't get you anywhere. Does it really make no difference whether you stay in your lane or switch lanes? We asked Jim Murray and producer Brianna Deutsch to test the theory on California's notoriously jammed highways. Oh, they start side by side right. in Santa Monica, California and head to downtown Los Angeles. Jim is in the white convertible, Brianna is in the blue. He so they're not gonna move faster or? aggressively switches lanes every time he spots an opening, while Brianna drives in a safer, Street. more conservative manner, always sticking to the center lane. The I've been going right and left and wherever I see an opening, I take it. So, who got to the destination first? Him. After 35 minutes of driving with constant lane changing, the producer behind me stayed in one lane of virtual tie. All of that effort. Wait, a virtual tie? I think you got that first, Not man. Really. Jesus Christ, man. So loud. Well, I guess now we know. <laughs> I guess I guess now we know how it happens but but they really do have a point though that it is frustrating like just knowing that like that's the reason why um your car stopped because of someone just stopped and everyone just like stopping and stopping and stopping it's like come on bro that's annoying that's really annoying but yeah uh to the next video